My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you how to make multiple stems for your mixes and why you should do this. I do this for all of my mixes now for the past uh, maybe four or five years. And I recently got burned by not doing this because I had a client had me pull up an old mix. And it was before I was doing these stems. And the reason it messed me up is because those same plugins I used in the mix five, six years ago... I either no longer have those plugins or don't have them installed. So it caused me to have to remix uh, some of that session to get uh, what he needed done. So if you look at the bottom of this session, uh, you see that the top track I have, that's the final mix. And then I've got the acapella instrumental. And from there, I start to create stems, uh, drum stem, music stem, effect stems, which affects being all the reverb and delay. Music is everything except for the drums, and the drums, of course, is the drums. The reason I do this is, you know, if a client asks me to pull this mix back up, I'm able to put it back together without using those plugins that I've had because I've already recorded everything I've done from those plugins back through here. Now, I do use a hardware bus compressor, so when you're creating the stems, you don't want to use your bus compressor because the compressor is going to react differently if you're feeding it just drums or just vocals or just the music. So I've got all my stems done, done here. I'm going to walk you through doing the dry vocal. Of course, if you play the dry vocal with the effects, uh, then that will come together as what I have in the mix. So I mean, as far as for my hardware uh, mix bus, I do take a picture of that and put that in the session folder. Therefore, if I have to recreate it later... I can set it back to what I had it. Or, I mean, even worst case scenario, I don't have that gear anymore. I could still use what gear I, I do have and just apply my bus compression back to it versus having to install and find other plugins and everything that I use to recreate the mix. So to do the, the dry vocals, we want to make sure that all of our effects are muted which would be here. So we'll just grab all the effects and just mute that. And then from there, we're going to solo the vocals. So this would be just the dry vocals, no effects. So on a Mac, you would Apple E to go to export mix down. I'm going to rename this uh, dry vocal stem. And WAV file 16-bit 44.1. We're going to do it in between uh, the start and end song markers. Uh, my output. So if you're mixing in the box, you would, of course, leave this as the main output. Uh, I mix using analog summing. I have all my vocals coming out of 5 and 6, so I'll select that. And you want to make sure you have import to track uh, selected. This way it will import, import the stem back into Studio One. So we'll give a second and let that run. So again, like I was saying, this is a very helpful way if, you know, two years from now, someone wants you to um, maybe send you, let's say, acapella or instrumental. You know, you've already have it in here. And one that I don't have in here that I will do upon request is a clean version. If someone requests a clean version, I'll have that in here too. But, you know... Two years from now, if this client comes back and says, hey, um, you know, can we do this and this? Even if it's just drop the drums out at a certain part, I can take these stems and put the mix back together quickly and do that. I uh, don't know why I put the track up here, but put that down there. Let's go ahead and color code that with the rest. And there you go. So I've got my dry vocals, effects, music and drums so these four tracks here if i played those four together it would put my mix back together just minus my bus compression so that's how you create stems in studio one uh, for 
like I say, your different parts, drums, music, effects, and dry vocal. That's how I do it. Of course, you can do it uh, any way you want to. You know, and while you're already doing that, I go ahead and do a cappella. I go ahead and do an instrumental. And, of course, any way you're going to have your final mix in there. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch you all next time.